Already? Well, it has been a year, Dad, you know. I better get ready then. I better get ready too then. I'm faster than you, Dad. We're up on stands, ready to go. With the bonnet up, there's one thing we noticed that's missing. Sometime over the last year, my badge has gone. I shall have to find a replacement. There are plenty of videos on YouTube showing Seat owners removing their Seat badge to reveal the Volkswagen one underneath. Uh, underneath the Volkswagen badge is a horrible sticky patch of glue. Talking of horrible sticky, let's get the oil out. Nice shot. And he's got the sun bolt in his hand. So there are a couple of points in this video where the audio and video are not quite as good as I'd like to have them. Uh, unfortunately I've got a problem with one of my cameras and the microphones aren't working properly. And I'm using a new camera and I'm still getting used to the settings on it. Um, hope you can put up with it for now and uh, hopefully it'll be all rectified for the next video. Please do the honours. Start the engine. I'll wait that. Other way. There it goes. Sit. Now we've the back end up, we can start checking the brakes. Matthew, can you pull the wheel off please? Okay, give me a sec. Put the locking wheel bolt key out, that's it, put up the floor somewhere safe. And start on the next one.
wheel should lift off. Look at that. What's left behind is the brake drum, which we need to take off. The drum is held on by this star-shaped bolt, a Torx bolt, a 30 Torx bolt. So the first thing we need to do is take it out. is to see if we can uh, loosen the drum with a little tap. Some little tap. See if it'll come off, Matthew. That's it, keep going, more of the same. Pretty standard stuff, to be quite honest. My turn. Well-adjusted brakes in good condition can actually be quite difficult to take off. Although it's very dirty, inside here is actually in really good condition. No leaks from the wheel cylinder, plenty of material on the shoes. Well, to be honest, I wasn't expecting anything less. Wait, you can get shoes on these. It's not like they go walking. That's a fair comment. There's a little bit of brake dust in there to give it a bit of a clean up. Go Matthew. <laughs> Lovely job. Time to refit the drum. With a gentle tap around the outside edge with a hammer. Gent around the outside edge going. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? That got it done. Yeah, the holes don't seem to be aligned. Let's line the holes up then. Good? Yep. Okay, where's the little bolt? Right here. Shove it in the hole. And you've got to untie him? Nope, not yet. Flip the ratchet. Ah! At least it didn't go in the oil. Good job, eh? And at least it won't miss something or off the bolt. Other way. Keep going. Good job. That's one side done, just got to put the wheel back on.
as you probably saw from the time lapse, this uh, this side put us up a bit more of a fight. Uh, and unfortunately, one of the victims was the um, hold down spring for the rear shoe. Well, that's okay. We can straighten that out, fit it back on after we've given the uh, shoes a bit of a clean, and it'll be good as gold. But uh, on the positive side, that tends to mean the brake shoes were uh, in good condition, working properly, and correctly adjusted last time the things were taken apart. And that's it, it's as simple as that. Both sides of the brakes, checked, inspected and cleaned. Ready for another year of work. Let's get it on the floor. Last job to do is to use the dipstick to check that we've put enough oil in the engine. It's a simple job, Matthew can do this. Oh, before you go recording, I do really do something. Yeah. You know the um, thing you said about the people taking off their say out bag to BMW and they get a um, VW thing underneath it? Yeah. Now look what I found next on this. VW Audi. OMG. <laughs> well, I think that's because it's all part of the same group, including uh, Seat and Skoda and Lamborghini. Is that exciting? Wow. Okay. Quite some more, quite a bit more actually. I need to be at the end of the den. The end of the uh, gritty things. Yeah, okay. you see that? Right, I'll add some more. Now for some of those finishing touches. First we're gonna do the tire pressures. <laughs> What's it sound again? One and a half. Right, take up two please. Stop. 
flip it over. There. Okay, then disconnect. Need to top up the screen wash. Of course, we need to torque up the wheel bolts. It's the end of the day, it's gotten dark and late, um, but all I need to do now is reset the service computer. So I've got the trusty snap-on diagnostic machine and uh, we're just going to go through the process and reset the service light. Only takes a few moments while the machine has a think about it. Reset service interval. Job done. And so hopefully now I can turn it off. Turn it back on. Sure enough, no more annoying noises. And we're set for another year. So, Polo's got a few things that need doing to it. We still haven't done the timing belt, which we talked about last year. And unfortunately, I was involved in a bit of an accident at Christmas. Um, very minor, no one was hurt, nothing like that. But I was sideswiped by a very large truck. So, uh, I've got to get this down to the body shop and get it fixed. Um, it's all been paid for, the truck driver was lovely, no problems there, but uh, just got to get the work done now. Um, so in the meantime, thanks for watching. I'd love you to subscribe and click the bell. Um, but in the meantime, uh, watch this space. A couple more Triumph videos coming up, um, but take care. Thanks for watching. <laughs>